Hey everyone, Uncle Jesse here. It's time for another two minute three printing tip Tuesday. And this time we're gonna be checking out the Harbor Freight liquid transfer pump and seeing exactly how much this thing sucks. So a lot of my projects revolve around resin 3D printing. And part of the pain point is the actual cleanup process and working with isopropyl alcohol or IPA and using that to clean your resin 3D prints because after a short amount of time, the murkiness starts to build within your cleaner, whether it's a bucket or one of these wash and cure stations here, depending on how much you're printing and cleaning, it's gonna get really dirty really quick. And hopefully this little pump here will help us alleviate this issue when it comes to actually cleaning out your IPA. And while my current container here is not entirely clear, it's still clear-ish and good enough for me to clean it. However, just a few weeks ago, that same container was filled with some really nasty looking IPA. So what I did is basically poured it into a large clear plastic container, sealed it up and sat it off to the side for about two weeks. And as you can see, it's all really kind of cleared up. And what we're left with is a little bit of that residual resin that settled to the bottom of the container. Now, if I tried to just pour this directly back into one of my containers, it's gonna all mix up again. And that's where this little pump comes into play. So I have not uh, used this before. I just picked it up from Harbor Freight. This thing goes for about $12, $10, $12, something like that here. And it should be pretty self-explanatory where we're gonna put some batteries in. I'm gonna stick this into the liquid, turn it on, and then it should siphon up all of the liquid, the clear liquid, and we can pour it into another container so that I can reuse this IPA. All right, the top screws off. We're gonna insert two double D batteries here, or two, <laughs> two D batteries, <laughs> two D, uh, we need double two D batteries. That's, that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> here. <laughs> we got the batteries installed. There's a little push button start here. This is the suction tube that we're going to stick into the liquid. And then here's the tube that our liquid's going to come out of that we want to put into another container. So we'll take our bucket of IPA here. That's again, settled to the bottom. I'm trying not to disturb it. We're going to stick this tube in here and we're going to stick this into the liquid and power it on and see what happens. It's Oh, it's working. Oh my God, it's going really quick as well. It's not disturbing the settled resin on the bottom. Holy cow, this is going so fast. <laughs> Holy cow. That worked so incredibly well. Uh, I'm thrilled with this $12 purchase from Harbor Freight. Uh, yeah, it transferred all of the relatively clear IP. I mean, it's still technically, it's not gonna be crystal clear, but it's good enough for me to be reusing and cleaning off my prints again with. And yeah, I can completely see through it. I'll get a different camera angle. And all the dirty IPA is still left here at the very bottom of the container. So I can let this settle again because it got a little bit mixed up at the very end there. And then I can try and cure it with some UV light and then just basically toss it out. So has this been more than two minutes? Yeah, it has. But this is honestly one of the best purchases that I've made for my resin 3D printers in a long while. This is 12 bucks from Harbor Freight. Well worth the money here. This thing was awesome. You're gonna need a container to let your IPA settle and then just suck it out and then back into another container. This worked so well. Highly recommend running out and grabbing one of these. Hey, let me know if you guys have any other tips or suggestions. Let me know down in the comments down below. And I also wanna say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support of me making goofy videos like the one I'm making here right now. Hey, thanks again for watching y'all. I'll see you next week. Bye now. Also, if you don't have a Harbor Freight, I just found a listing for basically the exact same item over on Amazon. It's 20 bucks, not 12 bucks. So a little bit more expensive, but if you don't have a Harbor Freight nearby, another great option. And I still think 20 bucks, well worth it.